This week on Barely Homesteading, putting in recessed can lights. Hello, Lumberjack here. Welcome to Barely Homesteading. So this front room of the new homestead is rather <clears throat> is rather dark, especially in the winter, because we don't have any ceiling lighting whatsoever. Now I'm assuming that the previous owners used lamps, uh, but we actually want some ceiling lights in here. So we're going to do some recessed can lights. And because this is you know already a finished room, uh, we're going to be using a remodel type of recessed can light where all you have to do is cut a hole in the drywall and then you put the recessed can light up into that hole in the drywall and then there's some clips that'll snap in to hold it into place. So Mama Bear and I have already laid out on the floor where we want these can lights to be. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use a uh, makeshift plumb bob because I can't find my actual plumb bob, it's in a box somewhere to mark on the ceiling where these can lights need to go. All right, so what we've done is I've used some very long wood nails to drive up through the drywall. <clears throat> and that way, when I get up into the attic, I can actually find those locations and see how they correspond to the rafters because we're going to have to probably adjust for the rafter spacing to be able to put those can lights in and have enough room to actually uh, put the hole in for the can lights. So this is hopefully going to allow me to easily find these locations and clear away the insulation, obviously, uh, and then make the final adjustments for those holes for the can lights. All right, so here we are up in the attic and you can see this nail that I drove up through. It's right next to the rafter. So we've got the template. And so we're gonna have to move that away, you know, back from the rafter so we've got enough room to be able to drill that hole for the can light. All right, so to save on wiring a little bit, I'm actually running a three conductor to, from the switch to the first light. I'm pulling off the second conductor to use as the hot for the second light. So we've got the lights all in and 
this is what this room looked like at night way before we put these lights in just with the light that we uh, had in the house when we bought it and this is what the room looks like now that we have these lights in much much brighter uh, can't tell you how much uh, more open and inviting this room is uh, at night and in the evenings now that we have these lights in. Uh, kids are in here uh, regularly in the evenings, whereas before um, this room and this space was basically unused as soon as it got dark. So these can lights were a major uh, improvement. In addition, each of these four lights can be individually controlled <clears throat> and so we don't have to have the entire room lit up like this all the time. Uh, we can have just the lights on over the piano uh, when Miss Independent is in here practicing, or just the light over here uh, above the chair when Engineer Bear is coming in to read. Um, and so it's really worked out quite well. So with that, this is Lumberjack from Barely Homesteading saying use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.